Hello everyone! So I have a pretty decent size haul to share with all of you guys and I pretty much have been hoarding boxes. So I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to film a haul video for you guys and get through all these things that I pretty much have just literally been hanging on to and keeping in the boxes and to be honest with you, I don't know what's in a lot of these boxes anymore. You know you have a makeup shopping addiction when that starts to happen. So if you're interested in seeing my haul and what I've been hoarding, then let's get on into it. All right, first up, I have a box from Sephora. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so a bunch of samples. Okay, so I got a sugar fresh sugar advanced treatment therapy you guys have seen me talk about this on my channel many times and i also i needed a primer because i noticed one of the things at work um i need something that keeps me mattified and keeps my makeup on all day because i'm working long long hours so i got the makeup forever step one mattifying primer you guys have seen this I got the little mini one because really, honestly, a little goes a long way and I didn't want to bother getting this huge one. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. That's the first box and I got this deluxe sample of the Skin Laundry Gentle Foaming Face Wash. So that's a pretty decent sized sample. All right, that's, so that's the first box that um, we got through. All right, up next, I got something from Barney's. It took me a while to get through this box. They packed it really well. I don't even remember what's in here. <laughs> I'm so bad. All right. All this packaging for this little thing. All right. Oh, I think I know what this is. I remember ordering it now. <laughs> this is, I think this is my NARS concealer. So on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, We've been having, Ebates has been having like crazy cashback deals. So I got the NARS Soft Matte Complete um, Concealer in the shade 1.5 in medium macadamia. So this is the one that, um, not the one that comes in the tube, this is the one that comes in the pot form. So it comes in a little jar that looks like this. So that is what it looks like. I'm excited about giving this a try because it's supposed to be a really good concealer. And it's so cute. <laughs> Something else from Barney's as well. Let's see what this is. Ooh, these are my Surat shadows. Woo! I got more Surat shadows. Okay, so I got the little, well, actually, this is the Grande palette it comes in like a sleeve velvet sleeve like this and then this is the actual palette put the individual eyeshadows in there so here's enchantress oh my god it's so pretty there's enchantress and here's a swatch of enchantress here's a shade chinchilla oh my god these are so buttery i love surat shadows here's chinchilla it's like a really beautiful silvery tone I think it would look really nice with Enchantress. There's Chinchilla, there's Enchantress. So here's Soy or S-O-I-E, supposed to be like a nude color. Here's a swatch of it. Ooh, look at those three together, so pretty. I totally forgot I even ordered these. That's how, that's how bad I am. <laughs> this is the shade Grage, that is Grage. There's grayish right there, and here is a swatch of grayish. It's kind of a little bit like my skin tone. So here's the shade Reynard Rue. I think I got this shade because of Michelle Wong. I think she showed in her like favorite Surat shadows, and I thought it was just so pretty. Here's Reynard Rue. Oh my god, that is really pretty. Here's a swatch of it. Ooh, those two would look really good together. These three would look really good together. And here is the shade Moss. Ooh, that is gorgeous too. Let me see, I'll put this right here. 
So those are all the Surat shadows I got. So you got Enchantress, you got Chinchilla, the Soy or Soe, Grage, Reynard Rue, and then Moss is right there. So pretty. All right, so on, um, I think it was Cyber Monday, Pat McGrath Labs, her actual um, Pat McGrath's website, had like a like 30% off or something like big code. And she was selling her um, set again, I guess, what is this one called again? The Metamorphosis set, the one with the different color like pigments. Um, there's like a copper, a gold, a silver, and a bronze. So I always wanted the copper one, but from a long time ago when it first originally just came out and I never actually like pulled a trigger and got it. But then when I saw that it was 30% off, I was like, this is a good opportunity for me to get it and get a little bit of a discount with it. So of course it comes in your very fun, fancy, over the top Pat McGrath packaging. So let's open this bad boy up. I actually keep all the sequins and I put them like in a jar and I like mix them all together and it looks actually kind of looks kind of cool. All right, so one of the things you get is I believe this is the eyeliner. So this is the Pat McGrath dual ended marker. So you have like a thick side right here. Oh my God, it actually smells like a marker too. And then you got more of a thicker pointed side right here, which is cool if you're trying to do something really dramatic and editorial. I'm trying to like contain all the crystals or you know, all the sequins without making a mess. Okay, so there's also a, a mixing liquid that comes in there. All right, so here's the actual color, the shadow that everyone wants. The packaging is kind of cheap. I mean, it's just like plastic. I wish it was a little bit nicer. But that is a beautiful copper. It's like that orangey penny type of copper. Let's just swatch it and see. So it feels a lot like her eyeshadows that come in her Mothership palettes. Yeah, that is really pretty, super reflective. There you go. I just blew off all the excess on there. Really beautiful. Oh, there's something else in here too. I think there's one more thing that's supposed to be in here. <laughs> I'm trying to do it without making a mess. All right, come on. Come on out, little guy. Come on. Okay, so I think the one what I just showed you is the powder. This is the cream version of it. Yeah, this is the copper cream. This is just gorgeous. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Ooh, that's very smooth too. I probably end up using this one first and then apply the powder on top. Yeah, that is, that is gorgeous. So happy that I got this. I mean, I had been eyeing it from a long time, but I never like, was like, oh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. But then when I saw that it was 30% off, I was like, I'm getting it. <laughs> All right, so I got another package from Sephora. So every year in December, Sephora gives out gift cards to their VIB Rouge members, their VIB um, beauty members, and their VIB, or I think their insider, beauty insiders as well. Um, Rouge gets $25 gift card for a $50 purchase. VIB gets um, $20, and I think the insiders get $15 for a $50 purchase. So one of the things that I do, and this is a tip for those of you who do buy a lot of makeup, is I actually have two Sephora accounts. I have one that I pretty much use in the beginning of the year, and it becomes rouge pretty quickly. And then what I do is I have another one that probably by the end of the year ends up being, well, most likely at the end of the year ends up being a VIB account, not another VIB Rouge. I've, I don't think I've ever had two VIB Rouge accounts. It's just been one Rouge and one VIB. The only um, drawback to having ordered things on as a VIB as opposed to a VIB Rouge is that the VIB Rouge gets free shipping on everything, whereas the VIBs get um, free shipping on a $50 purchase. I know I can probably just buy the $10 shipping for when I have a VIB Rouge. So that's probably something I'm gonna do next year because it ends up being worth it because instead of putting things into my cart to get $50 to get the free shipping, I could just spend $10 and I have free shipping throughout the entire year. And so what ends up happening is that anytime you have those VIB sales, I have two accounts 
that I could use to get a discount and then in December I get two gift cards. So one of the things that I got, so that's something to keep in mind if you buy a lot of makeup. So one of the things I got, it ended up being also helpful for last year during the um, VIB sale in November. So November 2016, what they did was they divided the sale by dates. So VIB Rouge members had this to this, VIB had this to this, and then Insiders had this to this. So it ended up helping me out in terms of um, having more time and a bigger range in terms of dates for the discount. But this year, thank God, they listened to their VIB Rouge members and allowed them to shop the entire time, which they should do anyways. But anyways, back to this. So the um, gift card that I got for the VIB in the VIB regular one, so it was $20 off a $50 purchase, I ended up getting the um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana in Amethyst. And I told you guys that I am in love with this particular scent, and I went ahead and got it. Let's open this up because I love this scent. It is so nice. And every time I go into Sephora, I apply this to myself. And I'm like, I need to get this, I need to get this. And I kept telling myself, like, I'm going to get it when I get my gift card. But, like, that was, like, the time where I was going to go ahead and make the purchase. So it comes in the really beautiful kind of packaging that their Nirvana perfumes come in. The next thing I want to show you guys is something I spoke about in my November favorites. And this is the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. So this is a hair detoxifying treatment. I use this about once a week to give my scalp and hair a thorough clean because throughout the week I do apply a lot of styling products. I don't um, heat style my hair very often, but I do use dry shampoo. I do use texturizing spray, you know, hair oils and things like that. So this is a good way for me to get out any sort of excess gunk and keep my scalp clean. So then my hair grows uh, more healthy. I love this particular product. This is the mini size version. There is a large version, but I'm telling you, a little goes a long way and it works really well if you're looking for something that really cleans your hair. But I do recommend applying a very hydrating conditioner on afterwards because it just does such a good job of clarifying your hair. You need to replenish the moisture that's lost with a deep conditioner afterwards. So Glossier was having like a 20% off discount code plus free shipping. So I got what is now my favorite like brow gel. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. You guys have all heard about it. I got it in the shades um, black and brown. I used, I like to use the brown for like every day and the black is more for when I wanna do like a more glammed out look. I like both of them, I love it. A lot of times I don't even use any sort of pencil, especially in the morning when I'm in a rush. It does a really good job of keeping my eyebrow hairs in place and lasting all day. It's really good and it has a cult following for a reason. I was telling you guys earlier that I have two Sephora accounts, so with the $20 gift card I got the Elizabeth and James perfume um, in Amethyst. And then with my Rouge $25 gift card, I got the new NARS Narcissist Wanted Palette, which has been sitting in the box. <laughs> I should have opened it a long time ago, but I am doing that now. This is the front cover of the packaging. So here's what the front cover looks like. Sorry, my dogs are running around underneath my feet and they're making noise. They're just playing. <laughs> Sorry about that. So here's what the actual palette looks like. Oh my God, that is so pretty. So I love the NARS Loaded palette. So when I saw that they were coming out with a new one, I knew I had to get it. And I was so happy I had that $25 gift card because that just makes the deal sweeter. Last but not least, I got some stuff from a Nordstrom event at their store. Every um, December, they have multiple days where you um, can come in for, this is for Nordstrom card holders, where you get 10 points on all your purchases. And they also give you like a personal 10 point a day. I went to one of their 10 point days in the store and let me show you guys what I got. So as you guys can see, my Charlotte Tilbury powder is starting to um, finish and it'll probably be done pretty quickly. So I wanted to go ahead and replenish and get my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm in the shade medium. This powder is excellent. It has won many rewards and for good reason. Another item that I have been eyeing for a while and I was kind of going back and forth about whether or not to get it um, is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush, and it's in the shade 
Brilliant Nude. So when I saw it in the store, I swatched it, I applied it onto my cheeks, and I thought it was just so beautiful because it really is a nice nude blush shade. So here's what it looks like. Just really gorgeous. It's like a swatch of it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Really pretty. And it looked really nice on the cheeks where it just looked like a very subtle flush, but gave you just enough of um, color to make, it just looked really sophisticated and chic. I really liked it a lot. I also got a few things from <laughs> Tom Ford. I mean, going to a Tom Ford counter is just dangerous. So I have really been falling in love with his single eyeshadows, and they really are addicting. And then when I had a chance to actually look at the display and look at the ones I want, it was a good idea because I really got to see the colors in real, in real life and kind of determine whether or not I have shades very similar to that. And so what I got was, I actually got three shades. One of them is being sent to me because they didn't have it in store. Um, I got the shade Agenda Rouge in the suede finish. So here's what that looks like. That's Agenda Rouge. And I really like this particular formula. I think it's like really smooth and applies well to the eyes. Then the other shade that I got is called Mood Lighting. It's a sateen color or a sateen finish is what I should say. So it's like this really beautiful pale kind of yellowy gold. And I think it would look really beautiful with the Agenda Rouge color. So here it is. I think these two would look nice to go together. It's kind of hard to see on my skin tone, but there it is. And I also got the color videotape. So that is the one being sent to me, and I'll probably show you guys that shade on a um, future video. And the last thing that I got from Tom Ford is one of his new mascaras. This is the Full Screen Lash Mascara. So here's the packaging that it comes in. And I got a lot of requests from you guys to review this particular mascara. So here is the packaging. I'm not going to open it because I'm not ready to use it yet. But when I do, I will do like a review of it and let you guys know what I think. So yeah, I think... That is it. I know I have a few more products on the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell notification button. That way when I upload any sort of videos, you will be notified and I will see you all very soon. Thanks. Bye.